gonna give a brief talk. I know it's been a long day. You guys are hanging in there. So, um, hair loss. Cosmetic reasons, obviously, really concerning, but I know that it also can produce a lot of anxiety for patients when you start losing your hair. And there's a lot of different types of hair loss. We're gonna talk about generalized hair loss on your head, as well as eyebrow loss and eyelash loss. So in terms of head loss, um, there's three different kinds. The first is general shedding. And this is the type that you see primarily in thyroid disease. You notice a lot of hair in you know, your drain or in your um, brush like this. And you know, obviously this can be pretty scary. Um, the thing to remember about this type of generalized loss is that there's no specific patches of loss and it's not actual balding. You'll have thinning, but it does not go to actual balding in any places. Um, that's compared to these discrete patches of loss. And this is much more common when, if you have um, a fungal infection or um, other autoimmune disease, not uh, thyroid disease. And then there's also male pattern baldness, which is not just in men, can be also in women. Um, and you can see it's more centered um, among the temples and the top of the head. And this is a, a hormone issue. So what causes you to lose your hair? What causes the thinning of the hair? There's a lot of different causes. One of the most common is undertreated or undertreated um, thyroid disease. You can have uh, hair loss in either hypo or hyperthyroidism. Um, basically, the thyroid gland isn't just able to produce the hormones that are necessary for the hair fo follicle's proper metabolism. If the hair follicle can't properly metabolize these things, you have a loss of proteins and amino acids, loss of the ability to absorb the minerals and the vitamins they need to grow, um, and energy is actually directed away from hair growth into other areas of the body, um, and that's just part of the thyroid disease. Um, also treatment for thyroid disease can cause hair loss, specifically levothyroxine, also known as Synthroid. One of the side effects that's been reported is hair loss. So that's something to be aware of. Even if your thyroid levels are under control, this may be caused. Um, also, obviously, treatments for thyroid cancer, radiation, chemotherapy, all those things are also going to result in, in loss of hair. The good news is that there are some treatments. First of all, normalizing your thyroid levels. Um, that's the first goal. Um, some people have, patients have noticed that they have better luck if with a combination of drugs as opposed to just being on a pure T4 synthetic drug like Synthroid. If you can add a T3 into it, either alone or in combination with the T4 drug, like I've mentioned up above, some patients note that that helps them a little bit more. Again, the important thing is to be patient. Unfortunately, there's no quick fix. It's no miracle drug that's going to turn around immediately. You have to give it some time, even several months, to really work, whether that's normalizing your levels or trying another drug. Um, there's also been reported um, a lot of alternative supplements out there to help with hair loss. The most common is evening primrose oil, um, although there's others, including lysine, aromatherapy, and you know, in certain situations, hair transplantation can be um, an option, although it usually doesn't come to that in thyroid disease. Um, some hair um, treatments out there, such as the DHT inhibitors, the growth stimulators that are often very helpful in other types of hair loss, really don't seem to be very helpful, helpful for thyroid disease. So not really worth trying those. Moving on to eyebrow loss. Um, this seems to be much more common in hypothyroidism, um, not as common as is when you have high levels. Um, it primarily affects the outer third of the brow, and in contrast to head loss, you can actually have a complete absence of the brow. Like I mentioned, you know, with the head it's just thinning, you don't have actual patches of baldness. Unfortunately, in the eyebrow, you can actually completely lose the lateral third of the eyebrow. More often, it's just very, very thin. Treatments are similar to that mentioned for the um, head loss, you know, normalizing your levels, um, being in, on medications themselves. Um, and this, you can actually do transplantation for eyebrows, and that can be in the form of micrographs or single hair transplantations. Both have been done. Um, and there's also permanent makeup. Um, that's actually this picture here, not, obviously she's had more than just the brow makeup, but um, yeah, the tattoo, I mean, that's certainly an option um, for really thinned eyebrows. Um, the final topic I'll just mention briefly is eyelash loss. And again, this can be hypo or hyperthyroidism. And uh, as we know now, the um, eyelash 
hair follicles actually have thyroid hormone receptors on their surfaces, and that's why they are affected by thyroid imbalances. It's really uncommon for this to be the presenting sign of thyroid disease. More often, it's somebody with known thyroid imbalance that notices this as secondary. So, you know, if somebody, if you just notice that you just have, you know, thinning eyelashes, these other causes are much more likely. The primary one being trichotillomania, diabetes, vitiligo, pernicious anemia, and Addison's. Um, but this certainly can happen in thyroid disease. Oops, sorry. Um, treatments, same things as we discussed before, although there's a lot of new products out in the market now for eyelash um, to either enhance, um, lengthen, um, make thicker. Uh, one of them is FNS Neutralash. It's a mixture of vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. There's a couple others, Latisse, which is Bromatoprost um, Authentic Solution that you actually apply um, to the eyelashes themselves. Side effects include increased brown pigmentation of the iris, um, eyelids, skin darkening, some redness and itching. Another product is Lalash, which is also a prostaglandin analog, so it has a similar side effect profile as Latisse. Again, things to just enhance the, um, the lashes. Um, there's a lot of other uh, products out there, and maybe they'll be discussed a little bit later, but does anybody have any questions about any of this, any kind of hair loss? Yes? So when you were talking about um, thinning eyebrows, mm -hmm. you talked about treatments for that, but does it not just come back on its own? It can. Um, some of those treatments, like I said, if you can normalize your levels, you know, the thyroid levels, um, it can improve. Um, and sometimes that's usually all that it takes. This, these would be for if you're on, if it's not improving, even you have normal levels, and it may be due to maybe the treatment that you're on or other causes. If it doesn't tend to improve, then those are some other treatments you can undertake. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's more common in men. 